Hello my people, my name is Christian from Berlin and two questions were asked most often. How do I bring my two hands together? Typical question of a piano player of course. Second one is, in what order shall we proceed to learn your tutorials when we are beginners? And I took care of both questions uh, and also I have listed um, tutorials in the video text box that are um, most important for you and I took the, chose the easiest ones to start with and then you go on through the rest of my heap. And also I just did not pick up the topic of in what order but I made it a bit broader what else you should bring into like also a little bit of how to practice and with what attitude to practice and a little bit more you will hear let's start we have a lot to uh, to do when we want to get better we have a lot to do let's do I it try to do something that is not in my nature do something in the system let's start right from the beginning um, we have to divide two um, rivers the one river is the one who wants to play blues piano but blues pieces the other uh, river goes to the direction I want to play blues piano in the sense of improvising blues. Let's see what these both have in common and then we have what those, those two strings have to both practice. Also, I'm a blues piano channel. I'm not a piano channel uh, in the sense of uh, my easy blues lessons are not the same as the um, easy piano lessons where they start like this is the middle C this is the third finger fifth finger this is a piano and uh, these are my knees those are not uh, finding the super beginning stuff on my channel because I start at a certain level it is good to practice technique because if we take, for example, a thing like playing the blues slide. Um, yes, you will learn it also when you just learn a piece or lick. I show you and I explain it over and over again. But you should extrapolate um, technical aspects and do, uh, for example, uh, you should in the end play, be able to play a slide like any other note or even this one. It should not bother you while learning something. It should not keep you. Doing basic technique before is a good thing to start with also every practice session. I put links for, for, for uh, the starting tutorial, you should, the tutorials you should start with down in the box. There's a quite a number um, so you can learn that from there with the left hand put it together in a technique just play blue scale up and down and then uh, in triplets and faster start very slow learn um, chords a little bit of knowledge that is C C7 and these are inversions inversions are great to know G G7 um, you will find that also in many other tutorials that are not on my channel they're easy to find um, so uh, don't just stick to my channel when it comes to explaining easy piano stuff that is there in the billions on YouTube and it would be not worthwhile for me to do the same. I would compete with an ocean of uh, piano teachers. With the technique we are already at an at a, um, important point and that is you. You might guess already you have some importance in life. Now you found it. How much would you like to play good blues piano? That is a, sounds like a stupid question. You would say like, oh, very much. It's not true. The most people just say that. The most people just say, I would really love to do it. Because if you love, or if you really love it and you would really like to get better, you would do everything to get better. But after people say, I want to um, really play better blues piano, I say, okay, let's do technique. You practice technique, like scales and stuff. And it's really hard to make people play uh, or practice technique because we are lazy by nature you know the flesh is weak um, and uh, but so it's not true they won't make the, li the uh, a little effort to change their custom um, to, uh, and their practice routine to include boring technique yeah it's boring but you said you want to get better 
So it's not a holiday drive, you know, it's not a, it's not a cake. So you can have nice exercise or whatever, but technique is important. So um, check yourself, do I really want to get better? And if you trust me as your teacher, you do, you know, define for yourself how much and what am I willing to invest? It's uh, especially you on YouTube who are on their own. You're on your own. You don't have a teacher like me who is uh, uh, torturing you with a whip every time. There's an attack. Slower. Duck. That was wrong. You're on your own. You need far more self-discipline and self-control. So that was uh, just an inch of uh, uh, just a little bit of where I'm going. Uh, I'm, I'm being strict today because it's about getting better and I'm a nice guy, but I'm also a strict teacher. A handful of questions uh, were there also, how do I bring the left hand and right hand together? And that's the, uh, one of the main points of starting and playing. Uh, how do we bring the hands together? What do you mean bringing the hands together? This? Am I now a blues piano player? No. It's about coordination and it's about uh, focusing your, um, uh, your mind, uh, splitting your focus on left and right that is not in our evolutionary nature. Different things that are even not necessary to survive in nature. Or have you ever seen a lion kill a gazelle by playing, um, playing a boogie boogie? Probably not. So uh, it's an unnatural process. Listening to a couple of advices that are also posted down there, um, hand independence and how to practice. I will briefly repeat that. It's uh, if you have something in the right hand, and you learn something in the left hand, because your focus is used to just focus on one thing, as soon as you focus on the right hand, uh, your left hand will get out of focus and do whatever it likes. Just go for a burger somewhere or um, take a flight to Greece. And uh, there are a couple of tricks, for example, you play the left hand much louder. This way it's obtrusive in your ear. In the beginning, you over exaggerate, it also strengthens your fingers, and um, this way the left hand cannot cheat. And you're on your own, so you've got to take care of that double. Yeah? So loud. And then you do the things that come here. You play it even slower. play here you still play loud here so that it's uh, really saying hello here I am um, uh, it's uh, like if you a cat getting a, a bell around his neck so the the master always know where the cat is and the bell here is loud playing loud that the cat is not getting lost then we have this uh, how do the uh, hands come together um, is also where well, this was by dynamics and by um, uh, general coordination that your left hand uh, doesn't do its own shit. So from a language. And then we have the organization in time, meaning uh, I play this and I now play this. Also a big problem of bringing hands together is the, the hand doesn't do just uh, melodic differences, like one hand going there, the one other hand stays here. We do we go in space in different directions. Um, the center is still being patient and uh, there's no secret trick. Um, I practice many, many hundred or thousand uh, lessons and uh, you don't get an easier way for that. It's just a hard process playing piano. Uh, but it's worthwhile because making music, making nice music is a great reward afterwards. Then we have the second thing that, you know, my, my uh, channel is probably uh, is one of the very, very few channels, um, especially in blues piano, that counts for you. Why do I do this? Why do I make my mouth dry and use um, uh, gallons of uh, Diet Coke, which costs a lot of money. You should see my empty bottles. Uh, they can fill trucks. Um, why do I do this? Because I'm an idiot? Possibly. But also maybe because there is a point in it. There is a point in it and that's called bringing the hands together. Because um, time is just uh, floating by and we have to organize. Music is basically organized time. 
And in this timeline of the piece of improvisation, we have to know where to put the fingers in the timeline. Um, and uh, that is also essential and to find exact spots in the timeline like where to put this one. This is the problem of bringing the hands together. You can play by um, estimating, by guessing or somewhere in the middle. That is what many people do. And uh, I would say 80 to 90 percent of YouTube learners do it wrong. Because I have students who learn something on YouTube and they come back to me and they look, I got it. And I say, no, you ain't. And they say, yes, I do. And I say, no, you ain't. And then they say, yes, I do. And I say, and so on. Um, and there's a, a strong help that helps you prove that you are right. Proof. Like scales, uh, centimeters, millimeters, and we have one and two and three. This way we have a proof. Our voice is in the air and we can prove we are right when this is coming on and when Christian says one and two and three and four. We just brought the left hand and the right hand together. You learned first that this is coming on the one and two and three and four and and this is coming on the end. One and we just brought our hands together. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and... At least we know now where it's coming. It, then it's still practicing that because your hands have to do something independently, which they are uh, not used to in piano. I know everything about students, really, I know a lot. Um, and to self-control and discipline is not what students like, especially not when they're on their own, somewhere in the countryside learning from YouTube tutorials. So again, it's a matter of you, you would just want to have fun or you want to make sure. So now the roots are splitting um, and I assume that the most part of you is talking about playing blues piano in a way freely. The order of things. Of course you need a left hand. So you pick one for the beginning, you pick one left hand you like um, and that you learn that it's in your system. You practice always from left to right, from rhythm section to melody. So the best thing is in order for your rhythm section to work properly, to work, to play one hand really well. At most, and for maybe of change of sound, you take two hands that are different. Maybe one New Orleans hand, one boogie hand, or one slow blues hand, and one that has a slightly boogie feeling. Um, <clears throat> so that's, that's that thing. And then you learn the other thing that is necessary. You play blues, you, lose, you learn the blues form until it comes out of your knees. I have a tutorial how to remember uh, the blues form. It's also linked down there, the blues form and uh, how to deal with it, that you don't forget it. So these are the essential things. Now you might have heard about the right hand that wants to play something too. And uh, we can call that improvising. Uh, improvising in blues piano mainly consists of uh, connecting sounds or licks to a bigger uh, context. When you're beginning, you start, of course, with easy licks. You start with easy licks and not with the ones you love so much, but you cannot play. It's like that is uh, riding the horse um, from the in the wrong direction, backwards, or whatever, it's the German saying. So um, then you learn an easy lick and bring those things together. Because if the groove and the rhythm is gone, then the blues is gone. Believe me, everything I'm no, I, I say here is so true. I don't believe I'm the um, keeper of the tr eternal truths, but this is such a long experience in ear and in listening. When the left hand is going wrong and the blues form is going wrong, you can do in the right hand whatever you like. You can be James Booker, it sounds amateurish. So then you, uh, you choose I have a collection of easy licks. Um, let me just uh, invent one like... Something. If that is really nice and both hands together, 
you take whatever the next difficult licks. Only if you manage that and you check the rhythm is together, you go on. Then you move on in the blues form and manage that. Then you start by um, combining licks. Uh, you just take a lick for, uh, for the C and then you take another lick maybe for F and for C and one for G. I have uh, also licks for the dominant and uh, you can combine them. That's the first uh, way of improvisation. It's you combine, you improvise. Um, then you can learn how to improvise bluesy with the scale because we have um, improvisation consists of scale and licks or l part of licks can also be a uh, part of scales can also be licks if they have been played many times mm, then <clears throat> you combine those I made a tutorial how to build up a blues solo basically uh, how to build up a blues by making you a uh, uh, a sort of a spreadsheet or a, a, a template uh, doing stickers here that you don't forget. Uh, lick one, lick th I, gave the, I give the lick's name like uh, the um, third lick or the magic triangle or the, the money shot uh, and you can uh, compose your own blues. That's already improvisation. It's in the middle of improvisation and composition. The, the, the thing is that after you did that a couple of um, uh, billion times, then uh, all licks that you spread out in front of you, like uh, with a little uh, icon, maybe a magic triangle, trill, da 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 da, you do that a couple of times um, like that, and then, uh, then you internalize the licks, and then you can start playing freely because you have them at your fingertips. Then you, you start to. Um, uh, increase the difficulty by including trills or these. Add simple licks, combine them, and then you add, you do the rest of my easy lick section. You go to the playlist uh, for beginners and easy uh, uh, ones you can jump or which ones you like. So there is not really a point for me in saying this, 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 this. I give you a choice and I give you a rough guideline. Um, then you, um, you, on top of that, you can do that also uh, somewhere in the middle. You use an ending formula uh, to round it up and to, so you basically add arrangement uh, points. Maybe an intro. I made, an, I made a tutorial on that too. It's also linked down here. So you, you, you take these building blocks that I provide for you and uh, then you stitch them together. Now we're coming to something essential and that is you, um, I often get asked like in what order to practice. If you want to learn improvise and do that in order, I did one course of improvisation that starts at one and goes to seven. That is it's not very popular. It's somewhere in the middle, even below the middle, although I put a lot of effort in, in it. Why? Because we start with very little. I want to do that thoroughly and people just want to go to the hard stuff. And uh, so, but blues does not start by sounding like uh, James Booker. It starts like by keeping the rhythm and uh, how, to, how to create ideas. But I strongly advise, um, make this uh, seven, seven step course and learn about it. And uh, you can still sk skip a little bit forward, but every time I make the f people f uncomfortable because I'm not doing their favorite stuff, um, they don't click. And uh, because they know better and they know I don't want that. But as I say, then you have to check, do I, how much do I want to get better? How much? Yes, now the chapter uh, how to practice. I very often get asked what to put after another, which tutorial. That is one good point, but it is almost as important, if not more important, is not what you practice, but how you practice. And I linked that, that also. Um, I made one or two tutorials. Oh God, I get a dry mouth. You see, I'm talking so much for you. Mm, my tea are gray. Mm. Is my best friend. 
I only have um, aristocratic friends and one is uh, gray and um, academic friends like Professor Longhair, uh, Dr. John. So a very smart uh, community I have here. Um, yes, how to practice. It's called the, the pig dog or something. That means there's something in you that cannot, uh, that is just driven by lust by the lust to advance fast and by the lust, I want to play this. Uh, so it's faster than the reason and it makes you do all sorts of inefficient mistakes. You practice, don't practice economically, although you would get all in all, you would get to your um, goal faster. It's really important. It's, I cannot overemphasize this. Tempo, tempo and going from left to right and making the uh, rhythm your master and uh, practice in slices and rather do little, but do that good. That was a lot, wasn't it? <clears throat> but it was everything I had to say about it, and uh, which is, don't just count the number of tutorials. It's much more than that, and I hope I could help you find your way. Of course, I'm always here at your side, and uh, don't forget to donate. It's important for me, also. You must be also on my side and also like uh, you can subscribe some more here and uh, choose another tutorial there. Be a good boy, be a good girl. See you in my next tutorial. Bye bye from Berlin.